gaps in the forex market what is going on why is this happening and how can you avoid it I'm here to help you guys today understand why gaps are occurring why your stop losses are getting jumped why you're getting trapped over the weekend by holding trades over the weekend what is happening okay we're being told that the market moves over the weekend and this is why while the market clo is closed the market apparently is still moving and price can open at a completely different price okay so market makers can open price at whatever price they want and normally they do it when there's a lot of news but they can do it whenever they want and it's a huge advantage to them and I'll tell you why right now okay let's get the bigger picture of Euro USD what happened Sunday through Friday and then why did this occur okay we can see there's a massive I mean it was a 200 pip gap you guys it was huge so they blamed it on the the elections in um, Europe I believe something about the elections but we don't really care about that we care about structure and what's happening in the present moment so here we can see there's a double top obviously you can see that crystal clear what happened here okay you can see price rose for about three or four days and then came up made that double top retail traders saw this they started selling all in here where did they put their stop loss okay where are we told to place our stop losses as retail traders we're told to place our stop losses 20 to 30 pips above the high or just to have like a 20 to 30 pip stop loss that's the normal retail trader range of stop losses okay let's say max you have a 50 pip stop loss maximum alright let's say here's the high okay let's draw 50 pips okay 30 pips above the high so let's draw a zone here and we'll have a a 20 pip range so that's like exactly a 20 pip range so what happened there's a massive sum of stop losses of sellers in this area right there's this is 30 to 50 pips 50 pips is a, a big stop loss for a retail trader okay they're not going to be risking that much most retail traders have smaller stop losses especially when working on a a smaller time frame like the 15 minute chart but you can see even on a a higher time frame you could see like this obviously looked like it was a reversal right here and if you were trading on a higher time frame obviously you would place your stop loss above that high so why did they gap 200 pips well you can see market opened market closed right here all right market closed at around 1.072 and market opened at 1.92 1.092 excuse me so let's see that was a 195 pip gap okay so market makers have the ability to literally use news 
any news event whatsoever that most retail traders would think as volatility, you know, as volatile news. Market makers have the ability to jump, literally jump over a certain range, okay? All up in here, all up in here is a bunch of orders, all right? There's a bunch of stop losses in here, like we discussed earlier. A bunch of people placed their stop losses all up in here. They were jumped, literally price op price closed here and price opened here. There was nothing in between. So market makers gapped time and space and it literally opened on the other side, 200 pips above where they closed at. So market makers are now, they now gapped almost a hundred pips above your stop loss so your stop loss had no effect your stop loss was obsolete alright if you held your your trade over the weekend and you placed your stop losses up in here yeah say goodbye to your account if you were over leveraging your account and depending on your stop loss and that's what a lot of retail traders do they say Okay, I have my risk calculated here. Um, it looks like a good trade. I'm going to play it over the weekend, and then boom, they jump in. Stop loss gets completely jumped. They, they're 100 pips against them, and then you can see here, if their account wasn't blowing, okay, if the account wasn't blowing by gapping 100 pips above it, then... Market makers slowly came down and and filled the gap. All right, why did they come down and fill the gap instead of just keep uh, instead of just go going up, keep going up? Um, it's because there's a massive amount of liquidity in this gap. All right, there's orders in here that the market makers need to be filled to continue the uptrend and the basically the fluctuation of up down up down up down the movements that you have I don't know what that is up down up down you know the trend that you see that fluctuation they need the liquidity so they went into this gap gathered enough liquidity to come up and then you see that double uh, the M formation here and then another M formation here but what happened market makers used a news event alright I'm not sure which one it was I know it was a euro it was on the euro it wasn't on the dollar um, some news event to hit any stops above that M formation 16 pips but remember market makers can open the spread on brokers that don't have a fixed spread they can open a s open your spread like up to 50 pips alright I wouldn't be surprised if spread got opened here 20 15 to 20 pips on the euro and took out any orders even like up in this area like all the way up in here the stops because people place their stop losses let's say you you got in here you got in here you sold you sold there you have your stop losses up here above this current high alright that's what we're told and then look what happens market makers used the news event to disguise their move came up hit the stops came down alright here we go market makers had enough liquidity they came up and then they made their their moves you know their structure the M formation the M formation the fake out 
and this was also what looks like all right this looks like an anchor into this M you see this M formation it formed on basically on this whatever you want to call it the support line resistance whatever the 1.92 all right it formed on 1.92 level and the market makers came up used news to anchor into 1.092 again and then drop price okay they dropped price 73 pips or so we got in a little bit late we got in I believe right here but we saw this move happen here and a lot of people got in again right here and gained that those extra like 30 pips or so off of that yeah like 40 pips off of that you can see what happened here alright they hit the stops they came down that's the the railroad track formation whatever you want to call it the double the two candles that come up grab the orders hit the stops and then come down immediately and then boom you enter right there on that next candle in three candles you're up 40 pips so you can see gaps they happen um, and the longer they're let's clear this up a little bit the longer the gaps are left unfilled the more orders will fill up in the gaps okay so what what do you mean I mean everybody can see this gap right it's on everybody's screens you can all see it okay so retail traders and big banks are going to be placing their orders in these zones in this zone it'll become a zone of massive liquidity all right you can see here market opened with that gap and market makers came down into this zone came down into that gap filling like half of the gap already okay they filled like a hundred pips of the gap and then now they came up made that M formation and notice how they made the M formation on our anchor line okay remember this 1.092 <clears throat> 1.092 level they made that anchor they made the M I mean it's all people say forex is random forex is not random you guys when you can see the structure what's happening um, and what what's behind the movement alright and it's basically it's really an art when you see what's behind the movement how market makers are moving one pair or the other um, right now the market makers are moving the CAD crosses the Canadian dollar um, we'll get to that in a bit so what do we expect right now okay let's see what happened why this gap was so big and what what happened here okay let's use let's see the levels let's try and spot the levels and what level we're in right now okay so right now we can see this looks like a big fat M or I mean a big fat W a W formation right here with the anchor into the W and then there's that level one rise okay so we can see here's the peak formation low here's that level one rise this to me looks like level one consolidation, level two rise, level two consolidation, 
level 3 rise but it was invisible okay they used the gap as the rise can you see that they gapped 200 pips and that was their second level or I mean third level rise and then you can see after that third level they came made the peak formation high off of that third level and now they anchored into it and now you can see they're reversing again um... <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, you can see there's still liquidity in here. There's still about 100 pips left. So market makers are probably going to, now that they have a massive sum of people trapped here, they're probably just going to somehow either find a news event to just completely dump the euro or just when they hit this zone right here when they get into this zone just expect a massive move and a grab for all of that liquidity back because that's what they need to pump price down the three levels that they're going to be pumping price down so we can see here's the peak formation high here it looks like we have level one possibly all right this whole thing could be a peak formation high all right and then we could have one massive level come down here to take out all that liquidity and then have some consolidation here and then another drop or we could see possibly just three small levels each grabbing for liquidity and then finally a peak formation high into that or I, I should say a peak formation low into to close the gap alright finally close the gap with that peak formation low and then um, follow the uptrend stay in line with that uptrend that is forming here so that's what we could see as well um, there I go again just completely messing up the graph <laughs> but yeah you guys can see basically my thoughts I'm kinda just projecting my thoughts for you onto onto the charts CAD JPY perfect example this week we could see the market makers were working the CAD crosses this entire week right now they're working them um, here we can see that peak formation high it looks like a peak formation high maybe this was it um, but let's check out just the last two weeks here the last two three weeks we can see that massive downtrend and then here's that W alright then what happened we had the gap up the shift in the zone alright this is what is called a shift in the zone where there's a massive sum of sellers in this area okay because people retail traders had their little trend lines and stuff going like this alright and they were like oh look at that that looks perfect perfect downtrend I'm gonna sell right here right here right here I'm gonna sell all all around here and notice same scenario where are you gonna put your stop loss right around here right market makers gapped how many pips about 53 pips above your stop loss came down hit a lot of stop losses came back up created that little M you can see it right there the little M 
They didn't break the second leg. Or, I mean, they didn't come above the first leg. You get in right there. And that's full red bars all the way down until the gap fills for 115 pips. Okay. They used that little M. They trapped a bunch of traders long all up in here. And then they dumped the price on them and ran for that liquidity zone. All right, remember there was a massive amount of liquidity in here. They filled they filled it all up. They filled the gap. Gosh. The chart just gets so messy. Okay. So we can see gap is now filled. Now what is their plan? All right. What is this? All right. What do we have here? Well, it looks to me like remember this is Sunday open. Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, market makers created that peak formation low. And what else did they do? They anchored it into the W right here. So we can see an obvious change in the trend right now. They did that massive move upwards. We caught CAD JPY right here on that continuation of the trend. Um, I believe it was right there, that little W, we caught it, and we wrote it like 80 pips. We had our take profits up here at, I believe it was point, uh, 82.3, right, literally right there, and hit the 80 pip take profit. And now we're looking at a long-term uptrend that could go up 100, 150 to 200 pips, possibly 300 pips. Um, but yeah, you can see, like I talked about on Euro USD, market makers go for that liquidity, they booked it for that liquidity, and then they made their move. They need that that extra liquidity that's in here all right, to make their move. And you can see, gosh, let me, let me remove some of this junk. Okay, let's spread this rectangle out a bit. They filled the gap to the pip, literally to the pip. Actually, it may not be filled yet. It may still have a little bit to get filled yet. But, you can see market makers came down, filled, almost filled that gap. They may have possibly filled it. There might be just a little tiny bit left, like 10 or 15 pips. But check out what happened when they filled most of the gap. They anchored in here, filled most of the gap, and then came up. What happened when they broke out of this zone? All right. They created that, what you may have thought was a double top. If you didn't notice, there was already a anchor here and a big fat W right here. All right, if you don't didn't notice that already, you may be trading as a short. Okay, you may be going short. So you may have seen this here as a good M and went short right here. I'm sure a lot of people did. A good double top. Oh, I'm going to go short. I went short right here. And then market makers faked the short, stuttered a little bit, and then in one bar, they 
went above the high and then stuttered a little bit more and then another big bar above the high hitting stop losses all up in here and then came up again and then another three little three levels right in here to make that it looks like a peak formation high right there so they slowly take away anything they gave you and then you can see market makers came up and then they came down after that peak formation high right here okay they came down one two the three levels made that peak formation low right here okay and then what did they do they made that W right below all of the EMAs okay so what is that that is a reset in the uptrend okay so they reset the uptrend there was a massive shift in the zone this one candle shifted the zone 45 pips 45 pip candle one candle shifted the zone away from all the sellers that were in here okay and then moved the zone in here all right and then we can see what looks like the same thing happening we can see we may get a W formation again to pump CAD JPY up above the EMAs or we could see a drop all the way back down here for the real anchor okay the real anchor could be lower it could be around here oh that's a terrible line could be around like right around there okay just to fill that gap that may not have been filled right in here and then pump price back up because on the weekly all right on the daily on the daily we can see there's that big what looks to be a big head and shoulders pattern possibly we, which we could take it long term or oh, and we have what looks to be like an anchor right here into this peak formation low possibly a peak formation low and then a change in the trend to build momentum upwards um, look basing this on the 15 minute chart see we can see CAD JPY is coming up already little by little um, we are in a trade at the at the moment on USD CAD. And USD CAD you can see had a small gap right here. It opened and the gap was about oh well, it was about forty two pips. So that's not it was about 42 pips, and you can see they shifted the zone. They came up one big candle, and then they came up, filled the gap, just filled the gap, just enough, and then made their move, made the anchor of the week, the peak formation low of the week, all the way down here, touched the 800 moving average, and then shot up like um like 200 pips or so yeah like 255 pips almost so what can we expect now it made the anchor and it went up for three days straight okay we can see what looks like an M formation right here they did take out the high They did take out the high, but what you also notice is this half Batman formation, which looks to be a continuation of the downtrend. 
Um, I am not quite sure what happened here. I believe it was just the market maker working the CAD pair, the CAD crosses, um, because there was no news the other day that happened here. There was no news that that made this big. It was like a it was a 75 pip drop. It was just a shift in the zone that the market makers used to scare the the long holders. And then what did they do as well? They came back up and then they scared the short holders by coming above this high that they had already made okay this was now the new high market makers spiked above the new high there was a lot of stop losses at 1.3660 alright a lot of stop losses in this zone here they were hit market makers now need to come down Because it looks to me like they've made their peak formation low here. There's that anchor, remember? The anchor. And then a possible level 1 right here. Level 1. And then here is level 1 consolidation. There's the anchor, level 2. Or we may have a smaller level. Yeah, it looks like this is level 3. Oh, we could have a, a possible 33 trade right here. Okay. It looks like the trend was reset. It kissed the 800 EMA right here. Market makers reset the trend. They also anchored into the current uptrend and created that three levels of rise that you see here. So that could be a possible 33 trade. 1, 2, 3, and then they're making the peak formation high right now. Alright, you could have the 1, 2, 3, the third level, 1, 2, 3, and then the peak formation high is right here okay so I'm not like an expert at this right now okay um, this is just a speculation right and it could very well be totally wrong okay let me show you why So, this could be one full peak formation low right here, right? This could be one massive level one. <clears throat> this could be, whoop, this could be level two, right? Level one is always a straightaway, level two, and then this could be level three possibly and then we may need another spike up to create that peak formation high up here to induce that big drop but 
that is why we don't just rely on the levels okay that's why we have a bunch of different confirmations that we can use to um, find where the trend is how the market makers are moving each pair and what is going to happen next so Euro USD, we can see market makers are still working on creating that downtrend. But as you can see, they they have to, they're not just going to dump price, right? They have to come down, then come up, come down, then come up, come down, come up. It's always in fluid motion okay it can't just spike down 200 300 pips right it has to have that fluid motion to create that trend that trend also gets retail traders to see like these lines all right to place these lines everywhere that that are just a bunch of bs okay they're not going to work you can all right oh trend Look at that. We have a new trend. Still going up. No. What you don't see is this big fat M. You see the anchor. All right. Stop using your retail trader strategies with this method. Okay. If you delete all your trend lines, delete all your support and resistance, and just look for peak formation highs, the three levels and the stop hunts okay you follow the high and the low of the day all right you can see price came above the high of the day here and this is simple you guys it's so easy you place a tracer at the high okay there's the high they came off of the high they made that little M all right, it was actually a triple top here. Hit it once, hit it again, hit it one more time. They came down, and then boom, massive hit to the high. Are you going to buy here? What are you going to do? Are you going to sell at this, at that green candle? No, you're going to wait for the next candle. Although this candle closed above the high. You're going to wait for that next candle to see what happens. Okay? And then look. You can see the next candle came, closed below that previous high. Made a new high, but closed below your high. Okay? So you can enter a cell right here. Right? You can enter that cell there. And boom. Within... Within about 45 minutes, you're in 40 to 50 pips of profit. 40 to 45 pips of profit. Okay. And that was simple. You just were watching the high and the low of the day and seeing how market makers worked the highs and the lows. Because there's orders, like I explained earlier, there's orders here. Retail traders saw that triple hit to the high they started selling in here like I explained before there's a bunch of stop losses in here the market makers came up used the news to come up grab all the stop losses in here extra liquidity and dumped the price okay that's what happened that's why your resistance was broken right here that's why we don't use fill our charts up with a bunch of BS support and resistance lines and trend lines that don't work okay they it's just it's nonsense okay it it's BS to say the truth and if you can't see it right now you can't see what's happening then I, I can't help you alright obviously there's something going on here you can see again we can go back place a tracer above this high market makers came up
created that high, worked below it, and then what happened? They threw a wick to the high, and then look at this. There's a little M right there. They created that first leg, and then boom, came up, threw a wick above the second leg for anyone scalping, hit their stop losses, scalping on like the one minute, or the five minute chart, hit their stop losses and then came down. Okay, that immediate change in the trend. It's easy, you guys. Okay, it's not as easy as it looks, but it's a lot easier than guessing by using support and resistance and by guessing the strength of a support and resistance that you can, that you placed like a year ago or like that was placed according to what happened like five years ago it's it's much more you have a lot more confidence when you can judge what's going to happen based on your knowledge of market structure so I wanna thank you guys for tuning in for watching this video if you want um, you can subscribe, we can have a party, <laughs> no, we have uh, an awesome community on Telegram, alright, telegram.me slash forexia, if you type it in your browser right here, you can join us in that massive party. Just click enter. A, a like a widget will pop up. You download this app called Telegram, and you can join us. We have signals. We send out our analysis uh, using this method, the market maker method, and just give updates on news. Sometimes giveaways, a whole bunch of different stuff that you can be a part of just by joining this community we have over uh, uh, almost two thousand people in our channel and about a thousand people in the chat room right now they all all around the world trading forex and sharing their ideas in this chat room and it's a great place to be if you want you can also check out forexia.net for different news on what's going on and a bunch of basically content about what we do and what type of manipulation is worked on and thank you guys for watching I really hope you have a, a great rest of your week it's Thursday where I am it's probably Thursday where you guys are too but who knows um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'm tuning out, peace out, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, share the knowledge, hopefully you guys learned something new, what gaps, why gaps happen, and basically just tuned into a lot of the knowledge that I was giving you guys peering into my mind um yeah is thank you guys i can't thank you guys enough uh if you enjoyed like i said give it a thumbs up share it peace out thank you guys for watching